How you doing? This is the new way, new way. Welcome back to this video. Uh huh. Uh, we've got. Well, I've got some news. I woke up about 20 minutes ago, and I'm actually awake. So, I decided why not? Let's do some videos. Let's get. Uh, I, I'm gonna do three this time. I know I last a uh, couple days ago when I made the. Uh, two videos. I, I said I was gonna do a third, but I was too tired. But now I'm wide awake, to some extent, and let's just do the video. So here we go. Um, I've got three topics, and I hope you enjoy the videos. So here we go. First topic. Um, this movie. It, we're going back to movies again, and yeah, and then. Like I said in the last one, I'm going to do movies for a little bit. Then I'm going to switch back to some of the other stuff I talked about in the recent maybe 20, maybe 10 videos. Uh, anyway, uh, this one actually came out. Let me just, I couldn't find another thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, give me one second. Okay, and, and this movie came out in 2007. Um, hold on, let me see if I can have the names here. It's with uh, Dwayne Johnson and Madison Pettis. Pettis. Here we go. It's the game plan. Game plan. Now, there's a reason, excuse me, the reason why I decided to do this one particularly is because uh, I did watch this. I did watch this when I was younger. Um, I don't remember exactly how I got into it. I just remember... Uh, I think it was on um, Disney Channel back in the day. Uh, and a couple of years back, I used to watch Disney Channel for a couple of the stuff. Or a couple of the shows that were on there. And I remember seeing this there. I think it was there. Or maybe one of the other cartoon show, cartoon uh, networks. And I was watching it, watching it there. But anyway, this movie, honestly, um, is very different to watch it as a kid and watching, watching it now as an adult. And when I was a kid, I remember seeing the dynamic between the father and daughter, the moments of comedy, the moments of we're both, you know, getting to know each other, we're both doing this stuff. But now as an adult, um, it's definitely something that a lot of parents or potential parents or people that will become parents in the future, in specific in a very, you know, let's say they become a parent next week. It is something that they can really teach you something. Um, what that means is that, in my personal opinion, it's just that it's not exactly a guidebook, but it is, it does give you some points to some extent. Um, and again, I, I don't have any, uh, I don't have any children myself, so I don't, I don't specifically. I can't specifically say that it applies to me, but it does give me ideas with certain things. Um, there's a story. Uh, there will be spoilers, so if you don't want to, if you don't want to watch this, maybe maybe wait to the end or something. You can skip to the end if you want to. Um, the story is basically of a, of a father who uh, he Joe Kingman, I believe his name was in the Dwayne's Dwayne's character, Joe Kingman, and. Uh, you see how his life is. You see how he is a very famous, very popular football star. And you notice that he, his world revolves around himself a little bit. A little bit of an ego, a little bit cocky, but still a good guy, but just too much, too much showmanship, if it makes if that makes sense. Um, you see that kind of style that he's in. The sort of his world is going up and up without any kind of conflicts. There's some problems here and there, but there's nothing specific that has come up in his life that says, "Hold on, stop everything." There's something else here. There's something right around the corner. That does it hasn't happened to him, but until you know the point where his, you know, you see how he is in the in the football field, see how he is there. But then when when the specific night. After New Year's, he meets his daughter, and her name is Peyton, played by Madison, and she, 
he meets her at first he goes what is this you know he he doesn't believe the the entire thing he he goes what, what am i supposed to do you know this is this, this doesn't make sense she and she proves it to him she shows him the documentation you know shows him who he is and he realizes that wait a minute this is this is actually my daughter me and my ex-wife we we divorced but one night before the divorce was officially final or the night that was officially signed to be final the divorce between them they got intimate and that night she got pregnant or was impregnated and she had a, she had a daughter but she did not tell him she didn't tell joe that because her name is Sarah, by the way. Um, I forget the... Got the I forget... Ah, I forgot the... Hold on. I forgot the... Give me a second. I forgot the actress who plays Sarah. Just so that I can... Sarah Kelly. Caitlin Foyer. Sorry, I hope I'm saying that right. But... Ka Caitlin, she... she I hope I'm so sorry I'm pronouncing it wrong. She actually uh, has specific scenes that are not actually, you know, you can see her in pictures and memories, but you once you learn learn what happened with her. But there is a specific com uh, conversation that she does have. Uh, there's a specific dialogue or or monologue that she has in the in the movie that always will bring tears to my eyes and. Just thinking about it now, think, thinking about the fact that, you know, he's sitting there listening to it. But anyway, with with that kind of situation, with after he meets, after Joe meets his daughter, he he starts to, you know, he, he wants to keep going with his normal life. But now his daughter is not getting in the way, but she's, she's saying, okay, well, this is kind of, I want to try to do this with my life. And he goes, well... It's this with me, and there's a bit of a clash there. You know, he, he the mornings where he works out, she puts she puts her own specific music with his. Uh, um, she puts his own, you know, she puts the, her own music with with his playlist to so she can practice ballet, and he, you know, he he becomes he he becomes very. You see that the child a little bit in him and that specifically he's like this stuff is mine you know don't get in the way she goes well i'm here now I, I you know you gotta you gotta understand something and you see how throughout the movie that they've they sort of build on each other you know you you notice how he's uh, you notice how joe becomes more and more you know he learns to be a parent because she particularly teaches him to some extent how she is as a child and how he should act as a parent, which is very, very clever, very clever writing, very clever, clever directing and all that. And uh, to me, the the moments where they after they you know eventually have their initial uh, when it, those initial situations where they get to know each other. And then you see afterwards where they're able to not just build, like I said, but they're able to care about each other. In a, and, and it's funny because this movie takes place, uh, I believe, in the time period of a month. And you notice how in the early weeks there's problems. But then after that, after the situations... Because uh, Peyton decides, says to her father, she says, look, I want to do ballet. So when when she goes, when he takes her to a ballet school near, near where he is, where he lives, he gets introduced to the, you know, the teacher there, uh, played by Rosalind Sanchez, very, very great, act very good actress. And her name is Monique, and she, she sort of becomes this, this uh, this mentor to him a little bit because you realize that she re she immediately realized what she, what he is all about she notices you know this kind of ego she noticed this kind of macho ness a little bit she notices all this stuff and she she kind of goes this isn't you know you brought her here the first day that he brings her to the school 
And he goes, well, let's just, let's just have her join. And he goes, and she responds to him a little bit. She goes, this, you can't just do that just right off the bat. And then she notices that Peyton is very talented. So she goes, okay, let's, let's get this started. But she also notices that Peyton has this energy while Joe has a specific energy. And then she is able to teach both of them with time. And I appreciate that a lot. And with Joe's, again, career, with his life, with his situations, because he had divorced Sarah, and because now he's on his own, the relationships that he's had were, you, you see in the beginning how he has this relationship with this girl, and, excuse me, and once he has that relationship, he builds, he builds this sort of reputation with specific women. We don't see every single woman, but we see some of the girls that he goes with, and he, he has that smile, if you know what I'm trying to say. He's got that smile, it's very charming, but it's also very, has a very strong ego. Um, you know, with, with the first girl, that what was her name? Uh, da, da, da. What was her name? I believe Tatiana, that was her name. Yes, Tatiana, I believe so, Tatiana. You, you see her, you see how she is very younger than him obviously uh that's how the movie portrays her she's very young and she is sort of intrigued by him you know she goes wow this guy is so you know intensely popular and he goes goes through all this stuff and then he says well i'm the king you know he, he uses the elvis uh moment or persona he uses it very intensely in his football life all that stuff and after that situation Peyton sort of realized that you know my father tends to has to do those kind of things and as Job creates he's starting to create an environment for Peyton to enjoy with changing change of her room you know uh, you're creating a specific room for her you're doing all this stuff you know rearranging his house you know, making specific foods, not just not just having protein, 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 but there's some food for a kid to, to enjoy. I don't think a lot of kids want to just have protein. A little bit of sugar, something like that, and with moderation, you know? Anyway, and I didn't really talk about the football thing. So with, with football, you notice how Joe, again, has the ego, but you notice how the people that are around him, his friends, his teammates, there's the the fun guy there's the strong silent type and then there's the father type and that's very smart very very intelligent in each of these guys it's it's all these guys that are able to do it and i've got the actors right here and i think i i i say nothing but the best and with these guys you notice how with each type of friend Peyton is able to interact with them, and then you notice how when Joe starts to introduce Peyton to the football world, the guys that are there, they sort of, they're able to become teachers a little bit. With the funny type, he realizes that, hey, I can't just be, I can't just be cracking jokes in front of a child here. She, she can pick up on some of the inappropriateness of some of the jokes. Nothing horrible, but a little bit of the stuff, you know, like stupid, for example. Certain kids, I'm sure, to this day now, would think stupid is a pretty mean word. So you don't want to just go, you stupid. You want to want to keep it, keep that a little bit down. With the strong silent, you notice how he becomes a little bit more gentler, a bit more kinder. He he he's all about oh, I'm football and I gotta be I gotta be this. And she goes, well, calm down a little, be a little bit more nice. And he he does that. You know, the, the scene in the nightclub where she shows him, she shows him specific dresses for her doll. And he, he's looking at him and he goes, well, maybe this one. She goes, are you sure? You know what I mean? She's able to give that kind of situation. And then with the parent type, he immediately, he immediately acts. You can know, you notice that about him. He immediately, his parent, parenthood just clicks. Because she's able, he's, he goes, so what's your name, sweetie? Immediately he, he's able to do that kind of, <clears throat> he's able to do that kind of 
conversation in with with you know with no problems to him it's it's he because he's he has his own kids he says he has that kind of maternal strength and with joe you notice that in the beginning he doesn't realize he, what each of them are doing with her but then after a while he notices how you know she's able to both influence them and they're able to co protect and complement and take care of her as well nothing but nothing specific you know they don't go to the house to take care of her but they they're able to do it when whenever joe is in like i said in the beginning he doesn't realize it, so he's on he's on he's on the football field just train 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 and those guys are able to sort of be the secondary parent but when they're at home when 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 joe and peyton are at home they are there but they but they also sometimes they're there to watch her but then there's moments where <coughs> i'm talking too much this is a good movie i'm sorry this one's gonna be a long video anyway um and i didn't even get a chance to start talking about the uh lawyer that gets involved too her name is stella played by kira uh, by kira uh i can't pronounce the last name i'm sorry but you notice basically this movie is i guess i'll wrap this up because i want to get this out today basically this movie is the is the movie that shows you you can't just be about career especially if you realize that, that you have a child if you don't realize it you know having a career is important but you also want to think about the possibility of having a child to some extent everyone's got their opinion everyone's got their moment everyone's got their air um and with and when the child does get involved with you in your life you want to not everyone and not everyone does this not everyone experiences not not everyone's mindset is the same of course but there are moments where you have to stop and think in my opinion you have to stop and think and go i gotta i gotta take a i gotta take a left here i've been taking rights let me take a left here and every time i see this movie because i've seen it maybe five six times maybe maybe more than that every time i see it you notice you notice how it is you notice how strong it is you notice how it can really impact you as both a current parent and a potential parent and it's always it's very strong to do that kind of situation you you don't want to just see this movie and go oh it's a fun time yes it is no fun it is no problem but there's there's something there too there's a specific thing there too at least at least in my opinion so and the ending of it the ending is one of the one of the best ones I've seen in 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 all the in my whole collection that I've got. This is one of the best has one of the best scenes uh, ending scenes, and you can see you see the the crew gets involved in the scene too, which is very cool. Excuse me. So, highly recommend this movie. If you get a chance to see it, please do. I've already. I've talked about it. I've talked a pretty good, decent chunk about it. I've given you at least 40% spoilers. Excuse me, at least 40%, a good 40%, I'll say. But the rest, it's up to you to see if you want to see it or not. But it's a great movie. It's a great time. It is a great, it's a great lesson. Not, not, it doesn't shove it down your throat, but it really does show you it. So if you do get a chance to see it, I highly recommend it. So here we go. Like a, the game plan. Great movie. Great time. A lot of charm and heart. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of charm and heart. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I guess that's it. Thank you for watching. I'm going to be finishing up the other two, and then you're going to get to see you. I'm going to put them up tonight. Right. Anyway, um, that's it. Thank you for watching. See ya.